We are talking about the movie Don't Sleep, written and directed by Rick Bieber. This one stars Carrie Ells from The Princess Bride fame, along with Drea Demato, of course, a regular on various HBO shows. The story here actually tries to do something a little bit different with the tried and tested haunted house possession genre. Does it succeed? Well, I've got to say, first of all, it, it hats off for trying to do something a little different, having a different spin on this kind of tried and tested formula. But I've got to say, the end result ultimately is a convoluted and confusing story. The very basic premise is we have a prologue where we have this young lad who is suffering from kind of night terrors. He can barely sleep because every time he shuts his eyes, he's kind of seeing this kind of dark vision. It's almost like a, a, a another version of himself, a much darker and evil version of himself. Cut to 13 years later and he's an adult and he's kind of moving into this new house with this kind of new girlfriend and strange things start to happen and uh you know these uh, visions seem to be coming back and weird things start to be happening now are these uh, ghosts from his past coming to haunt him are they literally trying to haunt him or is he just kind of going insane or is there some other kind of explanation i kind of thought i had this movie figured out at one point i thought oh it's kind of like a horror version of the incredible hulk but then the last kind of 15 minutes happened and that kind of all just goes out the window and it throws a whole new th different things in and thinking well now it's just it's just good all over the place the problem with this film is it's just all over the place in regards to its ideas and i think the the writer director here has clearly got an idea of what he wants to say but the, the translation of the film for a person who has just gone into this blind without knowing what's supposed to happen is that it's a confused mess unfortunately so uh the story is not particularly well told uh, for a, the viewing public and you, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense um, th there's so many kind of different plot threads that are started not not seem to anything is done with them uh, I mean they try to tie them up at the end we have the teenage girl that seems to be hanging around for no particular reason we have the wife who's looking at these uh, the girlfriend is looking at these kids drawings and they're all like bloody and stuff like that and that's trying to kind of that's shoved into the conclusion and you know the the, the guy's father disappears and he's never kind of addressed again it's all these i mean just that's just, just a few examples of all these things that are introduced and um you know you know we're thinking is this some kind of physical mass manifestation is this guy kind of changing into this kind of evil twin but then we kind of see paranormal stuff that's happening outside of that i just doesn't i just doesn't know what it's doing i got the, the impression here that the the movie just wants to have a load of cool visuals and then they'll kind of write the story around it that's what it seems like now i don't know if that was the the actual intent but that's how it comes across as an audience member that being said it does have some quite interesting visual styles here so i did so quite like some of the um the the interesting creature designs and kind of the uh some of the kind of the creepy sort of shots that they have here in scenes we have you know someone going into them there's a kind of like a demonic child in the court like in the ceiling corner and stuff like that it looks quite cool but the story that's wrapped around it unfortunately it's just very very confusing and kind of poorly told unfortunately the acting for the most part is pretty good i will say um not, not a bad bunch of actors with the exception i would say of the the girlfriend the female lead who i think is a little weaker than the rest of the cast by no means terrible but just not quite up to the part as the remain rest of the cast here you do have a quite a few recognizable faces i mean none of them are a-list celebs but nonetheless they, you'll kind of have seen them on variety of different things so overall i gotta say visually this movie is quite interesting but the story here is its real problem it just doesn't really make sense and you kind of feel yourself your mind wandering or you're trying to kind of figure it out and then it kind of things just don't add up so um i feel this this story could have been a little bit more uh you know told in a bit more of a digestible way uh you, i'm sure there's gonna be someone oh you didn't understand the movie or whatever i've got to look at it from the point of view of general audiences who are going to be watching this and, and i'm afraid it just doesn't make sense so I'll, i've got to give, give this movie a five out of ten it's just okay because you just won't make sense of it but it looks cool so five out of ten have you seen it what did you think of it leave me comments and i'll look forward to seeing you next time bye for now mm -hmm.